stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, pleasure is mine. I am the warrior Jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the East, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Caelid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast up, butter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle, on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Caelid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. face again. Are you heading to the Festival of Combat too? Oh, no need to be coy with me. Judging by the fine wallop you gave the old backside earlier, I would venture you're something of a warrior yourself. The mere thought of such a festival gets the blood pumping, eh? Now, now, according to my calculations, passing through this road should lead us to the Caelid Wilds, but, however you slice it, it seems we've reached a dead end. I'm sorry to have raised your hopes. It seems my calculations must have been off. I was created to be a warrior vessel. Many great warriors reside within me, ever dreaming of becoming a great champion. It's my destiny, and the reason for which I quest. It is my deal, you could say. To test myself, to better myself, to fell ever greater foes. And then, one day, we'll be a single great champion. The greatest of them all. What do you think, eh? 
How do you rate my chances? <laughs> battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Ah. <sighs> But don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> Would you mind helping me out again? My thanks in advance. I know you're the man for the job. You know what to do, hmm? Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. No, no, don't worry about my wound sustained at the festival. I'm stuck back together good and proper. <laughs> Just give it your all. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. <laughs> Please! Wait. I have a terrible feeling about this. Would you stop hitting me for a minute? sharp wits. Oh. 
as a token of my thanks, I'd like you to have this. Oh, dear me. I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> yeah, there were countless oil jars back where I'm from, actually. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. <laughs> yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it. I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my mawkishness. To walk the path of champions, one cannot cleave to the past. I'm headed to the fiery mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames.
Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with fame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a team. You know, it's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. You finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among the many, which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it? Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior. I am Christ Alexander. Lend me strength, O oh warriors. Let us become one champion together. was impossible. This vessel was found lacking. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. 